Hello, ladies and gentlemen, on Ask Japanese. This is your flashy fashion reporter, Kathy Cat. And today we shall report about some more crazy incidents that happen here in Japan. First, let's start with the news number one. What is the best thing you could do in this very cold season here in Japan, especially in winter? You're right, it's onsen! The hot springs! Some Japanese onsen have so many good ingredients that the water turns to like a milky white and it's super good for your skin. In some onsen, you can even bathe together with the snow monkeys. And some onsen mix in alcohol, like for example, wine or sake into your bathing onsen hot spring water. There are a lot of creative hot spring ideas here in Japan, herbs and such also. And there is a special hot spring resort that started a special campaign in which they floated the region's famous apple in the hot water. But unfortunately, an incident happened only in the male bath. Unfortunately, this only happened in the male bath. Now, girls, what would you do if there's like some wonderful, beautiful apples floating in the bath? Well, you might pick them up and you take pictures with them or just enjoy the smell. Now, what happened in the male bath, Joe, is people picked it up and they crushed it. Crash! The guys who went into the bath just all kept crashing the apples. Crash, crash, crash! And the staff had a really terrible time tidying up after all the mess that the guys made. That, however, didn't happen in the girls' bath. So they're thinking in the future to only allow girls to have the apples in their bath. Guys, mind your manners! You're ruining it for everyone! Case number two, the breakfast overdose. Now, what did you guys have for breakfast today? Did you have something nice? Did you have some bread? Mm, yeah, I missed some good bread. Do you have sunny side up? Ooh, nice one. Did someone make that egg for you? Did you do it yourself? Mm, or did you just have rice like here in Japan? Mm, I actually like rice for breakfast. Mm -hmm. But there's a sad breakfast incident here in Japan. A Japanese Air Force Colonel of the Sa Japanese A Japanese Air Force Colonel of the Japanese Self Defense Ministry Force. Okay. A Japanese Air Force Colonel of the Japanese Self Defense Force was suspended for ten days. What he did? What he did at breakfast? Yes, he was sued for what he did at breakfast and he's done it before. He's been causing a problem before. And what he did was at the breakfast table, he had an extra helping of bread and natto, those smelly fermented beans. Now, when I first read that, I thought he got into trouble because he had so much natto and he was so smelly, especially Air Force, maybe in the closed environment of the plane. But none of that. It's because he had more than the average is calculated out to have for breakfast. Actually, 175 yen more. The reason he gave for his shameless crime was it wasn't enough, so it took some more. But with the self-defense forces, everything is kind of calculated out and he's had done it before. So he got suspended for 10 days for eating more bread and more natto. In my opinion, he can have all the natto in the world. That stuff is smelly. Just take it. Take it. Case number three, lust and fraud. Now, as you might know, Japan is currently really struggling with the declining birth rate and the rising population of a lot of elder people. And that causes a lot of problems, not just economically, but also there's a lot of people who unfortunately are targeting the older generation and trying to take advantage of them by fraudulent behavior such as pretending that they're the grandson and they need some money and such so the kind, that kind of fraud that targets elderly people in Japan is becoming unfortunately so common that the police is placing warning signs around a lot of different places to warn the elder generation to not get caught up in these kind of situations. 
In 2021, there were so many incidents in Osaka that made all people the victims of fraud that the police in Osaka thought they should go another step and compiled a list with potential victims that they got from other people already done fraudulent behavior. The list included the names, address and telephone numbers of 465 elderly people in Japan who were very likely to become the next victim of fraud. A young police officer had said file, said very, very important file, and he was on his path on a scooter. And with that, oh, sorry, with that scooter, he wanted to go from A to B to a different place. But what happened is there was an accident on his path and as it was his police, police duty, he looked after the accident. <gasps> So the police officer, after dealing with the accident, got back to the police department and the list with the potential victims to save them, to take care of them, that list was gone. They later on, the police office gave an official statement apologizing to everyone whose names and addresses and telephone numbers got lost. Well, first of all, why did you print it out? And why did you transport it on a scooter? Why did you think that was a good idea? There is another incident of a robbery. For example, a lot of people have been complaining recently that their hangers got stolen. This happened to the director of Ash Japanese before the hangers got stolen. But, but the culprit is not a human. It's the crows here. Look at this. There is like a huge array of different types of hangers that the crows use to form their nests. And I can already see over 30 different types of hangers up just in that tree that the crows have stolen in order to make a nest here. That is a common thing. It happens. Be careful. The crows here in Japan are incredibly clever and so they know that the hangers that humans use are a lot more stable and a lot more robust than branches of trees, what they would usually naturally use. So in this tree, if you look down, I think it's about 200 hangers, 100, 200 hangers, if you look closely, and they're using them, they use the hook of the hanger to kind of fold it all together and make sure that the nest stays stable up in the tree. They know. Those were a couple of incidents that made the news here in Japan. But if you love Japan and you want to find out more, some of the curious, peculiar incidents are here. Check out this video here that has a lot more info. If you love Japan, be sure to check that one out. I hope you enjoyed your trip to Japan with us. Give us a subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you soon on Ash Japanese. Check out our socials down below. Bye.